Well, I'm so excited about today. We get to spend the day in the boat fishing. Oh yeah. A little, a little one v one today. It's gonna be fun. I'm really, really fun. excited. It is gonna be fun because we share the same love for that bass. Oh yeah. You know the big that bass. Big bass. The big we, bass. That passionate love that we have. But but today, because most people think, okay, well, okay, you probably doesn't fish that hard when she's in the boat. Let her catch. You know, let her make all the great casts. No, I I try to beat her just like she tries to win every time with me in the boat. So you've been doing good on the Bassmaster Tournament Trail in the high school, but today, this is a little little 1v1 tournament today. This, All is, right. this is high school, this is prepping you for the college event, this is prepping you for the Bassmasters Classic one day. Oh yeah. All right, it's going down, Dad. Let's make something special happen. Let's make it happen. A lot of times, Hillary, like so during the spawn, they like flat banks, they like uh, grass and openings in the grass, mm -hmm. stuff like we just fish. But when they go post spawn, they'll get closer to deep water, they'll get also closer to hard structure like trees and stuff. So there's some bushes oh. and things in this lake. So let's fish some bushes and see if all of a sudden we start getting a few more bites. And then, I, like you said, I think the rock pile could could be a player today but yeah you know every day you've got to evaluate and let the fish tell you what they want to do oh i got one, I got one. what you got what you got that line got? thing oh my What's god it <laughs> oh it's a dink <laughs> oh it came off <laughs> i'm about to flip it and he oh. came off oh my god that flora was singing it was <laughs> till i fear spawning that's what's knocking the reeds too Get the side view on. I'm gonna put it on about 70 feet. We're just idling down through here. You can see how, like the regular bottom is smoother, but you can see the actual rock. You can see how how more rough that yeah. is than that. See how that's smooth, and this is real rocky. That is a rock pile. Look at those fish right there. That is awesome. Yeah, they're so. We're about to crack them. Oh, got a bite. Uh oh. Oh boy. Uh oh. That might be a good one. All right. Much better. Much Big better. Enough. We went and flipped and flipped and flipped. It was like they gotta be. They gotta be offshore. Bam! Right on the rock pile. Boom. Good job. A little Bill. chunky one. There Sweet. You go. That's awesome. In the awesome. lead right now, the two something. A little popping lock. But that's important, guys. Look. We're out here doing these fishing shows. We didn't come out here and practice. We have to figure it out just like you do every oh, yeah. single day. And there's so many days that we go out with a preconceived idea like, oh, we're going to catch them flipping. We're going to catch them yeah. doing this. And it doesn't quite happen that way. Sometimes you have to make adjustments. Pay attention. Have your options open. Absolutely. Just like that. I think we're going to have a good day. Yeah, me too. I think we are. We figure them out offshore a little yes, bit. Get on some more rock piles. I think we can catch a few chunky ones. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick little break from this video. Thank you so much for watching it. But I want to tell you about a really cool product here. You know, I started a, a journey about a little over a year ago where I wanted to lose a bunch of weight and be in the best shape of my life. And so far, I've been on that journey all year long, working out a lot, watching what I eat, uh, really paying attention to my overall health. And that, that's helped me a ton, to be honest with you. I got so out of shape a couple years ago that it was getting harder and harder for me to perform at the highest level out there in the water. Carrying around an extra 40 pounds is not easy getting up and down all day long. So, you know, I've started this journey. I, I've been working out hard. I've been doing all these great things. And the one thing that I wanted to make sure that I was doing was making sure that I get the right vitamins and minerals and all the good stuff that I can get in my body. I've been seeing all the AG1 stuff all over the internet, well, seeing them on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. And I'm very curious because as I travel around the country, it's hard for me to stay into a good nutritional habit. You know, as I'm on the road, I don't get a chance to eat maybe the best foods, but I'm still trying not to eat bad. What AG1 has done for me is I literally take it on the road. Matter of fact, I have one of my little packs right here. This is a Ziploc bag that I just went on a little quick trip and I put in one per day. I just mix it into my AG1 bottle, put a little water in there, boom, done deal, shake it up and all good to go. And when I'm home, I have all my AG1 products right here in this nice little canister, which is great. Good and sealed up. Has my, um, my little scoop in here. The other thing that it's done for me personally, which is huge, it's improved my gut health. Uh, it, for me, gut health is important because as I travel on airplanes and I sit in cars for 10 or 12 hours at a time, I can get a little irregular, get a little feeling a little weird. 
get a little bloated. This right here keeps that gut health really good, keeps me more regular, I'm less bloated. I just feel better. I feel lighter on my feet, if you know what I mean. And then the other thing that I've been trying, and I, I think it's really, I, I feel like it's helping me for sure, it's the D3 and the K2. This is a supplement that you put under your tongue, a little dropper, helps you, gives you some extra vitamins and some extra things that you need. One of the things also I'm noticing with AG1 is that I'm having fewer cravings, which is important for me. So it's allowed me to help fight those bad cravings of even bad food. With AG1, I'm also able to replenish all my daily micronutrients, especially on those hard workout days. AG1 is also gluten-free, dairy-free, paleo, vegan, and keto, and it only has one gram of naturally occurring sugars per serving. All right, so the good folks at AG1, they've hooked me up, they've hooked you up, and here's what they've got for this great little offer. So you're just gonna follow the link in my description, okay? When you go to that and you purchase AG1, you're gonna get a couple cool things. One, you're gonna get a year's supply of the D3 K2 vitamin. This is the, the liquid here, it's great. And you're also gonna get five of the travel packs, and these are awesome as well. So check it out, guys. Thank you, AG1, for helping me feel better and get what I need. And this stuff, I hope, will help you guys out. So, hey, check it out, and let's get back to the video. Uh-oh. We have found uh Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Might be a bigger one. Oh, my. Oh! oh! oh what? Boy. What? This is a good one. What? This is a good one, dude. Stay down, buddy. Oh, oh, dude, oh my it's gosh, it's giant. It's this side, big this big side. Big Don't hit the troller motor. Don't hit the troller motor. Play him hard now. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Here, I'm gonna get him up here. Oh my gosh, that's a nine pounder. Hillary, oh my gosh, it's giant. Don't break that line. Oh my goodness. You gonna land him for me? Yeah. All right, right I'll get here. him. It's coming up, it's coming up. I'll get him. Coming up, it's coming, up. Coming, up. coming up, right here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Dad, get the fish, dude. Quit playing around. <laughs> You're just watching it jump like it's a toy. Get hold the on, fish. Hold on, hold on. Dad. I got him. I got him. Dude. Do you see this fish? Holy crap! Do you see this fish? That's so much bigger than I thought it was. Here, this is you. Oh my god. This is you. Dude. This is. Dude. That. Seriously, what just happened? Is awesome. Seriously, what just happened? Like, actually, what just happened? We figured it out. I don't even know what to say right we now. Give me a second for like an to hour, compose. Over an hour. Dude, that's we a just giant. Made an adjustment like, actually. And boom. Holy crap, that's like a biggin. Biggin. There. Like right. seriously, that's a that's Just keep a fishing. We'll weigh him in a minute. Yeah, we'll weigh him in a minute. That's big, big. We'll weigh him at the we end of the day. That's yeah. your big one so far. Yeah. Put him in the box. We got a season going win at the end of the day. I'm so proud of you. Dude, that right there, guys. that's awesome. That's Check that out, y'all. <laughs> that is so special. Right there. That's so that cool. cool. Again, making little adjustments. Boom, figured it out. I think we're gonna have a good day. I've got one, I've got one. I just got smoked. Oh boy. What? Yeah, it's another good one, I think. I just got think absolutely it's a rocked. I think so. I don't know. The head's shaking pretty good. Oh my gosh. He's going way over there. Oh, dude. Oh, nice ah, fish. Not a bad one. Nice fish. I'm You're happy. kicking my butt, Hill. Oh, that's a real good one, Hill. Yeah, not a bad one at all. Oh, yeah. No, Watch no, out. That's really good. Swing him up in here. Oh, yeah. A little flipping action right here. Boom, baby. Nice. Oh, yeah. Let me just touch him. Let me just feel what it feels like. <laughs> you did. You had a bite right I before I had that. I, one. I was giving you the tip because I said, look, when you get in that rocky spot, 10 inch Mondo right there, you get in that rocky spot, you let it sit there. Instead of just getting hung up in the rock and like yanking on it, trying to pull out, let it sit there. And I did. It went, don't, don't. But the rock cut me yeah. off, cut my line. That's what happened. The fish bit it, took it off, but just so happened when I set the hook, cut my line. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. You are. She's awesome. That is so cool. You can hold it. I'm going to get back in there. Yes, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to let him go. You can too. admire it. Because he's my little buddy. Like. I'm going to let him go because I'm going to catch his mama. Oh. Dad, you want the rod? No. Dad, here. Are you serious? I'm serious. Here, have the rod. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, oh my boy. gosh. Stop. Oh, dude. What? It's another good one. No, it's not. Oh, you better get up, Dad. <laughs> you better. <laughs> <laughs> you better Are get you up serious? and start fishing, dude. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, you're in for a real awakening, Dad. Here you go. Oh, what? <laughs> what are you doing? That's all for you. You, you can unhook her and you oh know, my gosh. admire her for a minute. Oh. A little bit of a chunky one. She gone. All right, I got to get a new worm. I got to catch another one. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah. Next time I get a bite. Do you want to set the hook on it? Shut up.
Shut I'll let you. Mouth. I'll let you hold the rod. Shut your mouth. You sure you don't want to hold it? You're gonna get beat. All right. You might have me down like three or four to zero. But I'm gonna get you. Whatever you say. She's not only good at fishing. She's pretty darn good at trash talking too. Oh, Golly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What uh -oh. in the world, uh -oh. Hill? This is not good. Hill. Dad. What do you have? Dad. Get your rod Dad? up. Get your rod up. Oh my gosh. Dad, this is gonna be a giant. What in the world? Stay down. Do not oh, it's big, jump. big. Okay, hold on, Woo! hold on. Don't, just play me normal, cause we got. I don't know how your line is right Dad, now. Dad, this is on a drop shot right now, bro. Okay, you're good. Just keep it good and tight. He's gonna jump. She, she's right here. Don't oh jump. My gosh, oh my gosh, giant. Dad. It's giant. I got a lander. Right I will. Now. Just take your time. Let's oh. tire her out. <laughs> Biggest fish I've ever had on a drop this shot. I don't know what to do right now. You okay, he's on the other side of the boat. He's over here. Oh, you have to get the fish. Oh, he literally jumped over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, Dad. Right here. You have to get okay. her on the first thing. First I will thing. try. Oh, just, just play. My just Lord. take your time. Dude, right here, right here. Right here. Coming up, coming up. Oh, my God. Ready? I don't know. Oh! oh. Careful. Bring her to me. Just take your time. Right here. I got her. Oh, my oh. gosh, dude. Oh, oh. my gosh, dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my what? gosh, dude. Oh, my gosh. That's a big one. Look at that fish. That is a giant. That is an absolute giant right there. Oh, we my gosh. We figured it out. We figured it out. That is so cool. Yeah. All right, let's stick her in the box. Yeah, You've let's got, get her oh in the box. Oh, my gosh. I don't even that know what to That was awesome. Say. You know, we went around the banks, and then we didn't catch them. And we decided to go offshore. And the reason these fish sit up on these rock piles, come here, the reason these fish sit up on the rock piles is this. When they're done spawning, they need to get to a comfortable temperature in the water. If the temperature gets hot, up shallow, it's 80 degrees up shallow. Out there on those rocks, a little cooler. They can lay down on the bottom. They can feed on yeah. shad. They can feed on bluegill. They're not real aggressive. And that's why worms, that's that's one of the times that drop shots will catch a big one and mm -hmm. ribbon tail 10 inch worms will catch big ones oh because it's it's low and slow, it's big and they just want to just eat it up. And, and that's what she's doing today. I mean, I'm not doing any of it, but she is. I'm just, I'm just here to help. I'm just here to help <laughs> land them. That's all, I'm, I'm just here to help. Yeah, my it's a personal great father, right daughter day on the water. It's all about daughter. The two things that we're catching them on today is this Mondo worm, it's a 10 inch by Guggen Baits. We've got a 3 8 weight, 4 aught trocar hook, 20 pound P line fluorocarbon, and the hex rod. I really like this hex rod. This is the, the favorite hex. It's an expensive rod, but it is a very high quality rod. Uh, I like it a lot, especially for worm fishing, things that I need sensitivity, uh, swim bait fishing, worm fishing. I love this rod a lot. The tip I can give you for for your tournament fishing mentality is that we we went around and we we didn't waste too much time flipping like we flipped and we checked like we checked wood we checked yeah we checked grass we checked the canopies we checked the shade we checked and then we were like all right we're done like yeah. we're done and we made our mind up that we you know they're just not there yeah a lot of times people will keep forcing it all day just keep like changing colors and change mm -hmm. like i know they're up in the shallows no they're not we did enough around on different types of cover shallow with zero bites that we knew that they weren't. For 75 years, Skeeter has had the reputation as an innovator, and this FXR behind me is no different. The brand new 2023 75th anniversary Skeeter is the one I'll be running this year, and I'm so excited. Guys, I've been running Skeeter now for several years. The overall look, the ride, the seats, the color schemes, it's so awesome. Let's jump up in and take a look. Very spacious front deck, padded as well, recessed foot pedal, and tons of storage here in the rod locker, the center box to keep all my tackle boxes, and all the other storage compartments around this boat. This boat is well laid out. The cockpit area in the Skeeter FXR is awesome. Plenty of room here for my knees, super soft ride seats. Plenty of room again here for my two graphs here on the front, my two Garmin graphs, and I've even upgraded to the kicker speakers in this boat. This thing sounds good. The overall styling of the Skeeter trailers are awesome. Check out the low profile tires, the sexy rims. This thing looks good going down the road. Plenty of room back here in the back of the boat for my power pole pumps, my lithium pro batteries, all my accessibility for my pumps, all right here in one easy access spot. The Yamaha 250 SHO is what pushes this beast right here. I tell you what, the overall reliability, performance, fuel efficiency, all the things above make this engine my favorite one that I've ever run in my life. So for more information about the Skeeter Yamaha package, be sure to stop in your local Skeeter and Yamaha dealer and give one a test drive. There you go.
There you go. Uh oh. Big one. Uh oh. Oh my oh, gosh. My. Oh crap, my gosh. Dude. That's a giant. Oh, it's right Dad, that's real. a giant. For real. That's a oh. giant. Oh my that's gosh, giant. Hillary. That's this is a bigger. Giant. This that's is a, bigger. That's a giant. That's a giant. Come here. Bring it to me. Oh my gosh, you should be dragged. Yes. It's like a 10 pounder, dude. For real. Holy crap. Bring it to me. I'm just taking my time because yeah. I don't know yeah, about my line. Time. Oh. oh. Look at this fish, oh. Hillary. Oh, right in my arms. What? Right in my arms. <laughs> Dad! Dad! What How is about happening? My first pass? Let's That's my go. first pass! Let's go! Here, hold your fish. Dude! How about my first Look bass of the, the day? Look at the belly on that thing. Look at that. Yep. Where is? Which That's side awesome. is my side? Side with no fish? The side, yeah. <laughs> the left side has zero in it. Easy there. to figure that one out, huh? <laughs> That's awesome, Dad. I done caught me one, boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give it to him. I'm proud of him right now. A lot of times we'll pick a crankbait up when we fish a spot like this after you've wormed it for a while. A couple reasons. Number one, you'll catch a fish or two on it. Number two, you kind of you kind of wake the spot up a little bit. You, there's a lot of shad and stuff that are sitting there, and, and you run the crankbait through there. It makes the shad move around, makes all the bluegill get nervous. It kind of wakes everything up, so then the bass that are kind of there, kind of just chilling, they're like, okay, what's going on? And it kind of gets their heart rate up. And they will bite either the crankbait or they'll start biting again on the drop shot. There's one right there. Yeah. There he is. Come on, buddy. Oh. There he is. All right. That's a good one, Dad. On the crank. He got it both hooks sideways. That's what you call a karate chop right there. Karate chop to the face. A little chunker on the crank. That's how you can tell they're post-spawn. <laughs> he didn't hit it hard at all. I mean, he just loaded up like a wet paper bag. That little thing right there has caught me a lot of fish. This is a mid-sized banger. It runs 8 to 12. They make another one that goes almost 20 feet deep as well. They make a shallow diving one. But that one right there is a great little bait. Oh, that. Yeah, biggin'. Biggin'. They're on this other point. They're right here on this other point, Hill. While you're eating lunch. I'm playing catch up. Not bigger than your big one, though. It is a good one, though. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing, guys. Mad. Look at that one, Hill. Wow. Another fat belly fish. That is so awesome. That is so awesome, guys. What a day. What a day. We went from being worried that we weren't going to catch enough fish for a show to having one of the best days ever. That's awesome. Keep these for a photo. We're going to have an awesome photo at the end of the day. There's, there's another one right there. It's way out there. There you go. Oh, yeah. Feels pretty good, dude. He's got me on the other side of that ledge. Big one. There he is. There he is. Oh. Look at him. Hey, baby. Ski bass. A little fatty right there. Nice. All right, so we found another bait that catches them. This is a great post-spawn bait as well. A crank bait, drop shot, 10 inch worm. That's what this show is all about. This one right here, again, the banger by Catchco, Goodman Squad. Nice chunk. Not a giant one, like we caught on the drop shot in the Mondo, but still a good one. All right. Good job, Hill. Thanks, good job to you too. Hey, it's gonna be really close. Like, I think, I think you might have me, but I don't know, it's within a few ounces. But you really put the hammer down on those fish today. The amount of big fish you caught today was just unbelievable. It's definitely been fun. I haven't had the opportunity to come out here and catch them offshore like we did. Kind of been, uh, last time, last few times yeah. I've been here, we've been uh, flipping and doing the reed stuff that we were doing this morning and it just right. didn't work out, so. Well, the day is officially over, Hillary. We had a, we had a simple challenge. We should have done best five fish. Yeah, we really should have. But you would have smashed me on that. <laughs> so we, we did the biggest fish award today. Yep. And uh, it's gonna be close. It like, is, it, it, I'm mine, excited to mine, see. Mine, I didn't catch many big ones. The mine is really big. Yours is big. It is. I had so much fun. I tell you, it, it, you did so well. I'm so excited. Thank you. Win, lose, or draw. I won this one because I got to spend time with you out here today. Aw, thank you. I got you. to watch you just <laughs> flourish with those techniques, and that was awesome. But let's see what these fish weigh. Let's, let's see do what it. your biggest one weighs. Yeah. Let's see what my biggest one weighs. And let's see who's going to win this challenge, guys. All right. That's oh, the biggest my one gosh. Right there. Look at the belly on that thing. Oh, my gosh. It's going to scare Your them. biggest bass ever is 9 1. Yep. I don't think we're going to I don't get think this one mark. will cut it, but 
It's gonna be close. It's so big I can't get the thing over its lips, okay? I know that part. There we go. There we go. 787. 787. There we go. What? Good one. That's a really what? good fish right there. Wow. Definitely my biggest fish of 2023 so far. That is awesome. Look at the belly on that Look thing. Look at that thing. She's beautiful. Here, here, real quick, just for, just for, to show Oh yeah, off. gotta get the other one out. Cause this one is just as big, really. It's just almost as big. Probably a seven and a quarter. Look at the size of this one, guys. Ah, that's a giant as well. All right, hold that one up real quick, Hill. Okay. Oh wow. I don't know. <gasps> that's my other one. She's a little fatty, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I think yours is bigger. <laughs> oh, what? Dude, it's like the same. You got me by three Dude, ounces. Dude, I literally, three it's ounces. the same size. It was like the same three size. Three ounces. It was three bouncing. Three seven pounders right there, guys. That Hold is that one up awesome. The that is awesome right there. Let's put them back in the box for oh, a quick minute. Oh, my hands are shaking. Oh my gosh. These are some heavy girls here. Wow. Can you open up my box? Yes. We're gonna get photos, nice photos at the end of the oh, day. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some really good photos. Look really good. All right. Post them on Instagram. That, you got me, Hill. But you know, like really, three, ounces. three ounces. That's crazy. I can't believe we literally call like the same size fish. Three That's giants. Awesome. There was another big one in there, almost a thirty. I'm, I'm say close to a thirty yeah. pound bag today. Yeah, definitely. That was so much fun. And again, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching today's show and learn kind of how we broke this lake down. Hiller, I'm so proud of you. I love you so much. Love you're going to do Dad. such big things in this sport. Um, you're just a great, great fisherwoman. Oh, you just get you. the job done every single time. And so guys, before we close it up, do me a huge favor. Check your phone, go to Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and check out the real Hillary Sue. And uh, look at her content. She's passionate about what she's doing. She loves the sport. And she's going to take our family name to the next generation. Mm -hmm. So. That's awesome. We'll see you guys. Thanks for watching the Scott Martin Challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> love I love you. you so much. Oh, that was fun. That was, that was awesome. so much fun. Beat me so bad. So bad. You deserve it. Yes.